Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for the Crypto Neo news education opportunities. My name is Lucas. My name is Ryan. My name is Jacob. And there appears to be a little bit of a lag, but we'll get through it either way. So uh, we want to talk a little bit about one of the more innovative projects happening on one of our favorite blockchains. Of course, we like to be a hub of secret updates. Secret is the layer one premium privacy by default solution, whereas it's not through a third party intermediary. You've got a direct opportunity to create decentralized applications with privacy and the security of blockchain that you know and love from EVMs and proof of work networks. So although it's not proof of work, but we're talking about blockchain technology, right? Now, secret NFTs, we've got a playlist on that because the NFTs, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So we've got some alfalfa on innovative NFTs, but, you know, Ryan, talk about some of the features of NFTs on Secret Network and some of these playlists that we have. Yeah. All right. Well, private metadata is the first thing. So unlike other uh, NFTs and other chains on this, on with Secret, you can keep certain attributes or Easter eggs or whatever you want. You can keep that private for the, for the owner of the NFT to see his eyes only or her eyes only. And that opens up the ability to pair NFTs with memberships to things like Alter Mail or, um, uh, and, on, as, and there's all kinds of options you can do with it. But the idea is, is that there's content or data or some, some, some information, some Easter egg or whatever that can be hidden in an NFT and made available to the user or the owner multiple things it could be a hidden image so certain information like a screenplay we've talked about tarantino nfts in the past uh, an artist can launch something that the public doesn't have access to but the owner can have access to on as well as other private metadata that's not shown on the public blockchain like you mentioned alter that gives people access to a subscription or to an, some some other some other feature which is They've already built these out. So we talk about that. We've got a, how to start your secret crypto journey. If you're brand new, you're early. It's still the beginning and you can learn all about it here and other places that we reference as well, because we're just one resource of educational information. This is entertainment. This is not legal advice, commercial advice, medical advice, financial advice, marital advice. It's just us sharing our perspectives from our time in blockchain and crypto, making mistakes and learning from them and still making more. So absolutely be ready to make your own or follow us down some of these mistakes that we like to make. And we get things right sometimes. And participation is something that we're all about. That's the best way to learn is just to get in there and do it. And so we definitely have some crypto explainers and tutorials that will walk you right through it. Airdrops, opportunities, and we talk about more than just crypto. That's right. We cover the macro situation. And there's been a lot to talk about on that front in the last few months. So I feel like that's going to continue. That's going to be, it's always a fun series. But today we are talking about a project on Secret DAO. And before we jump into that, let's talk about what Secret DAO is. Yep. Uh, you might have been familiar with DAO DAO on Juno. And this is a DAO tooling kit. This essentially is uh, to, to make an analogy to something you might be familiar with if you if you know about WordPress or other uh, websites that have templates where you can kind of click through and build a website that that's what this is but for but for a DAO so it's a toolkit for creating your own DAO on secret and it's uh, more than that too but that's that's the main idea there is uh, a DAO a DAO tooling kit and on on this, you uh, we have as well, we have an NFT project launching, right? Uh, Cyclops Circus and the Cataclops That's right. uh, NFT series, and we'll get into that here. Here's this is we're gonna have these links below, so if you're curious where to go, uh, we'll have the links. But this is here. You go to secretdow.com and you can mint a uh, Cataclops for 55 S Secret. And this has got a good pedigree. And this is from the this is the artist behind Ample Agents. And if you're if you follow NFTs on Secret, this was one of the OG NFT projects that 
uh, innovated the uh, pairing of uh, the ample, it was the, um, the ultra male subscription. Isn't that correct? They were the, weren't they the first? The first, yes. absolutely. Yes. And they have great art too. I mean, it's it's really cool. Good looking great art. art. It's, the artist is building out characters associated with these that allow people access uh, their voxels. Other other, they continue to add value so that people can participate in the metaverse, like sandbox style and, and other things. So you know, very cool what they're creating. And look, I mean, we're talking about Secret DAO, which is taking that. Dow Dow Juno Network innovation, allowing people to streamline and, and toolkit DAOs, but they're bringing that privacy, which we're all about privacy. Jacob brings in privacy stuff all the time outside of the IBC because you know blockchain is big and we're we're all about the innovation everywhere it's happening. So the fact that Secret DAO is taking this need, understanding that more DAOs are being created for different purposes, different reasons, decentralized autonomous organizations, and privacy, being able to vote, being able to partake in things without everything being governed on chain for the whole world to see is going to become more important and more valued as more people use and understand the utility, the value of DAOs. Now, you said great pedigree. I would agree. I was fortunate it was to be my first mint on, on Secret Network. And I plus, it's one of those things where I have some JPEGs that could have been better off without, right? They're not all home runs in blockchain and crypto. So absolutely do your own research, take a risk. But I've been very, very, very happy and very grateful. You can see here, they've even got a picture of a caddy clops on one of the ample agents and they're doing some yep. cross, cross marketing support. But speaking of good pedigree, you know, it's not just the artist, the team behind Secret DAO, they're actually validators. They have a node, and I don't want to say, I think it's secret nodes. If I it's say secret it. nodes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was in that ample agents tweet. They talk okay. about it that you were just at. So they've been securing before secret networks called secret back in the Enigma days. They're, they're OG supporters of the network adding value. So it's good to find those teams and developers. You know, we look for that macro, that long-term value added innovation. And I would say that, and they've said, this is not a, a, an NFT flip scenario. If that's, you're looking for, I would go, go elsewhere. That's not what this video is about, but if you're looking to join a community and add value to a, a team and support a team, that's creating something that's going to add value to the whole network. I would say this is a great opportunity and some alfalfa to go with that. If you mint this, is, by the way, this is kind of a feature of what you see on the public when you don't have one yourself, but when mm -hmm. you do mint one, and you get to unlock the private metadata. They look like this. A much uh, more focused, clear, a clear more image, focused, right? Clear picture. Okay. Now, the future of what can be done with these, what well, that's what's neat about NFTs is however lively and creative and long-term the team is behind it, Board Apes, Yacht Club, right? They've got huge, huge community, huge support. Then the more website, the more metaverse the more applications can be built out to add value to make them more dynamic which i feel you're we're going to see more with ample agents and caddy clops and cyclops circus in fact here's the alfalfa ryan if you mint a caddy clops we know that secret dow 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 already has a token they have a, a governance token that has value that people can go get on juno network or on swaps mm -hmm. now What's what's so special about what's one of the things that are so special about this cataclysm? Well, you uh, you hit you hit the nail on the head by referencing the governance token. It's a uh, secret DAO will have their own governance token soon, and people who have minted or own the cataclysm NFT will get an airdrop of that governance token. So it's it's a real it's an airdrop alfalfa is what we're talking about here, airdrop. and I, that's airdrop. and sometimes. In the IBC, the airdrops can be game changing for you. I've made more money on certain airdrops than I have in staking rewards on other chains. I mean, it, it can be legit. And yeah, just just a heads up. Well, talk about in Juno, like people hear about these massive airdrops, even on Ethereum or Uniswap, other networks. But in Juno, for those who support and participated, they could turn a couple hundred bucks, a few hundred bucks into $10,000, depending upon how active they were. So that's another right. thing why we always recommend 
Gov participate in governance. It's very rewarding. We have we definitely have videos that show people how to stake and how to vote right through their Kepler wallet because those tiny little things, providing liquidity, adding value to network, set it and forget it things that you can do as well as small, small five second votes. Uh, do your own research, maybe maybe a few minutes after reading the protocol. Mm -hmm. But uh, a little goes a long way and it doesn't take that much yeah. time. It's not difficult. It's part of That's what right. decentralized finance and communities are all about, right? So if you mint one of these and you're holding a Cataclops, when Secret Dow launches their token, no date right now, but the developer said when the time is right and, they're, and they've come to a certain place in their building, they're definitely going to have a token. <clears throat> you will receive a distribution being an early supporter of that governance token. So very exciting. If you'd like to have the secret DAO governance token airdrop through that method, you absolutely can. We'll leave all these links below. I'm very excited. I was listening to an AMA today with the one of the founders of Secret Network, Tor, and some other developers in the community. And really what they're talking about, the, the future shockwave, the growth of the network to, to be built out there, privacy and DAOs came up in the conversation, <clears throat> as well as secret NFTs and what they can accomplish. So this is some, you know, cutting edge, latest and greatest alfalfa stuff. And you know what to do if you want to stay abreast of more of the latest secret updates. But I feel, do we, did we touch it all? We got catacombs. Yeah, I think we hit it. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave all the links below. <clears throat> Pardon me. Even to Dow Dow, <clears throat> the first toolkit in the IBC to be a part of this and to yep. uh, spurn this innovation and is still innovating and creating stuff of value on Juno. So check it out. Until the next time, have a beautiful day. Namaste, y'all. Later. Thank you.